I'm back with another review. Um, I wanted to review Floral Street Discovery Set. Um, I purchased this in the Sephora VIB sale. Um, this was actually the only fragrance purchase, so pat myself on the back that I didn't uh, purchase any other fragrances because I don't need them. But I saw this, and the, there's one particular fragrance in here that I wanted to test, and I was going to buy the travel size, and then I realized that they had a whole discovery set. And I was like, why not? Why not test them all out? Because the packaging is beautiful. The bottles are gorgeous. They're just like very simple with a backdrop of flowers. It looks like a little bubble um, and the flowers, you know, are, it's, it's just, it's really, really pretty, the packaging. Um, they're very modern. Um, the brand is really, you know, what I connect with um, because they're uh, eco-friendly. All the products and the materials are uh, sustainable. Um, they're just a uh, very responsible brand and I and I really appreciate that um, everything uh, all the packaging is like recyclable um, they are just really beautiful as far as the whole story so look them up um, they are also vegan so if that's something that interests you uh, then also another reason to check them out um, all of the fragrances obviously as the name uh, gives away are floral so I'm not going to be redundant and say this one's floral this one's floral they're all floral they all have a floral note it's just expressed in different ways um, so I'm going to start with London Poppy and this one is citrusy this one's a citrus floral and uh, I'm going to read the notes are Florida orange Sicilian lemon apricot blossom jasmine sambac neroli sunflower cord merino cord cedar wood hinoki woods and black amber and what i get is fresh like a fresh you know citrus i get all of that um juicy the dry down is uh more of the aquatic so you get that marine note but it's just a very fresh citrus floral um wonderland peony is the second one um, and the notes in this one are Sicilian lemon, pink berries, pink guava, violet, peony accord, raspberry flower, vanilla bean, cotton candy, um, cedarwood, and vetiver. Specifically pink cotton candy. I guess that makes a difference. But yes, yeah, it's, it's very sweet. If you like the sweet uh, fragrances, this one, this one's actually really, really pretty. It's youthful. It's vibrant. Um, it reminds me kind of like what you would get at Bath and Body Works, just maybe like a grown-up version, um, just that sweet, um, fruity kind of, it's the peonies and the berries and all of that. Um, it's really, these, these two would probably be like spring, uh, summer fragrances, they're really nice. Um, the Neon Rose, now I don't know, uh, if, if, if you've seen in some of my, uh, comments, I don't really enjoy rose when it's mixed with other florals. I think it just makes it a little too overwhelming in the rose um, aroma. It just gives me a headache. So this one, I probably wouldn't gravitate towards as much, and I may probably give this one to my mom, which she'll appreciate. But the notes in this one are bergamot, uh, cassis cur, apple blossoms, Sichuan pepper, cyclamen, juniper berry, jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine Egypt, Angelica, white cedarwood, peach nectar, and crisp amber. And it's a very heavy floral in the opening. Um, it's kind of like, you know what it is? It reminds me of the Burberry Brit Sheer without the soapiness. So there's no soapiness to it. It's just a lot of, this one's like straight up floral. But the dry down is actually really pretty. I do enjoy the dry down because it's more like a soft floral. It kind of tones down and it's not so like heavy. So um, I, I didn't mind the dry down on this one. Um, actually, all the dry downs mm, are, are really beautiful. They all, they're all, uh, you know, it, it, you, get the, you have to get the whole experience um, because when you first spray it, it's very strong. It's like floral. But then the, in, once it starts drying down is when you get all of those other notes and um, they all really harmonize well. The next one is um, Wild Vanilla Orchid. Um, and this one is very juicy um, and a little sweet and it's warm and it's kind of like 
has more depth. Um, you definitely get that vanilla. I actually have it here. I have some of them sprayed just because I wanted to remember. But yeah, you get you get vanilla, but like it's like kind of a fruity vanilla. It's really nice. I like it. It's uh, cassis, lemon, vanilla blossom, bamboo, jasmine, vanilla bean, sandalwood, patchouli. You did get patchouli uh, and red orchid. So that one's really nice. Um, Iris Goddess. Now, Iris Goddess, it actually reminds me of the violet water that I spray on my babies. Um, and if you are Hispanic, you probably have heard of, it's called like Para Mi Bebe, and it's uh, like a violet cologne, and it's just, it smells like violet, and, but it's very like, it's gone after an hour, because it's, it's you know, a lot of alcohol, there's not a lot of uh, perfume in it, it's violet water. Um, if you like that, this one is like the intense version of it, because it lasts forever, it's very fruity, um, it, it's a lot of violet, so you get, um, did I tell you, I don't think I said the notes right, now. Lemon zest, chili pepper, midnight violet, suede accord, Tuscan orris, carrot seed, patchouli, black vanilla, and liquid musk, and you definitely, I get all, I get all of that, it's actually, it's really, really pretty, it's really pretty, I, I, like, it's like a grown-up version of my, my kid's violet water, which I enjoy, um, and this one, there, I actually looked up how to say it, and it's Shipra, 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 that's how you say it, Shipra, that's how they said it on the website, Shipra, sublime. Uh, this one is incense, pink pepper, wild geranium, damask rose, absolute, midnight violet, patchouli, labdanum, and uh, benzoin, and olibanum, olibanum. I don't know. I'll have to look that one up. I like looking up notes because I like to be informed. But I know labdanum is uh, gives something more like a balsamic note, and I, yeah, I definitely do get that kind of like uh, depth. It's like thick. Um, it's woodsy. I really enjoy the woodsy in this one, and I really, really this one's something I would uh, gravitate towards. It's a little bit bright in the opening um, and heavy in the floral department in the opening, but the dry down is powdery and woodsy. It's really, really pretty. I, I know I keep saying that, but they're all, I really love them all. Um, Black Lotus. Now, these last two are my favorite. Um, Black Lotus. Oh, I would buy a whole bottle, probably two, of Black Lotus. It is black cherry, red peppercorn. Saffron. I enjoy saffron in my fragrances. Um, Centifolia Rose. Black Violet Accord. Narcotic Musk Flower. Patchouli Fraction. Patchouli Fraction. They keep saying patchouli fraction. So I'm just going to say patchouli. Uh, labdanum and Black Leather. So beautiful. Like nothing I have. Oh, I, I get the leather in there. It's just deep, mysterious, uh, just very lush a little powdery it's so so pretty so so pretty i i would this one i would invest in for sure um the next one lang lang espresso which is actually why i purchased the whole set because i wanted to test out my first coffee fragrance uh so this is my first experience with with coffee in my fragrance and i really really love how they did it i think um they did a beautiful job uh, balancing out all the notes. I, I, it's coffee. I get coffee, but it's almost green, um, bright, uh, you know, it's just, it's just really like wearable coffee. So it's not like you, you know, pour coffee all over you. It's just, you know, the florals definitely are there. Um, the notes on this one are tangerine, which is that brightness, Sichuan pepper, fresh rose, jasmine, tiramisu accord, which you do get a little sweetness, patchouli, lang lang, espresso beans, cocoa beans, and guayac wood. Um, yeah, you do, it's some greenness, some earthiness. I, you know, I, I would, this, the set was $19, and you get 0. .0, what is it, 1.05 uh, fluid ounces, which is one and a half mils in each, and it's going to take me a while to get through these, so I, I think you get a lot of bang for your buck here. And even the whole bottles are pretty um, affordable. I think you get 
1.7 fluid ounces for, um, what was it, like $75 or something. So, you know, for the quality and just, a, you know, I, I just think it's so beautiful. I, I really enjoy the brand and, you know, it's just, I, I, I wouldn't mind giving them all my money. <laughs> I really, really like all their perfumes. So thank you uh, to Floral Street for making really beautiful fragrances. I don't know if I sent this, but I did purchase this with my own money. They did not send this to me, but um, when I followed them on Instagram, they did send me like a thank you, which I thought was very nice. Uh, a few companies have done that, and I really enjoy that when companies kind of reach out and just say thank you, you know, for, you know, following them and, and, and just having that interaction, you know. So, yeah, if you haven't checked them out, check out Floral Street. Thanks, guys. Sorry if you hear my kids and my husband in the background, they're playing, but see you next time. Bye-bye.